rate and review the podcast. And if you can, follow me on social media. Offer to buy me a sandwich or clean my apartment. Uh, any of those would be wonderful. Thank you so much. But for now, let's get started. Of course, this is, is, is The Rock Stir Show. Welcome, everybody, to the Rob Stern Show. We got Brad Stoll. Get your finger out of there. And Meredith Hackman. That's nepotism, baby. Um, what's, a, what's a big misunderstanding you've had uh, ever? Oh, um, I'm, I'm still holding a grudge against a girl uh, because I wouldn't share my pretzel with her, and then she tried to destroy my life. Oh, you, you, what, how'd she try to destroy your life, and when was this? Well, it was in ice skating. We were in the synchronized ice skating team. Hey, how old were you? I was probably uh, uh, 10, 12. Okay. And I wouldn't share my pretzel with her, but I was just kidding. It was like a funny bit that I wouldn't share my pretzel, but she didn't get it. And then uh, she got the rest of the synchronized ice skating team to turn against me. And when I would walk into the room, what, what, they would how go, old ha, are you? Ha, ha, ha. How, how old were you? I was like 10 or 12. Oh, okay. I feel like I've seen this kid's movie before. <laughs> um, what a, what a, but then in high school. What's her uh, name? Oh. Katie. Katie? Yeah. I think Katie's calling in. No! Yeah, yeah, here she is. Hey, Katie. Hi. Uh, yeah, so uh, I reached out to you, obviously. Is you... that two-timing pretzel girl on your podcast right now? Um, Whoa. It, I mean, well, my wife, Meredith, uh, I guess you guys know each other. Hey, Katie, good to talk to you again. Yes. <laughs> um, I, I didn't two-time anyone. I just uh, didn't share a pretzel one time. Uh, we were children. Yeah, well, you know what? I mean, some people get down their double axles, and some people like to double axle people in the back when they don't mm. give their pretzel. Katie, what are you up to now? Have you moved on past this? Sounds like you're still, you're still harboring some resentment. I'm actually operating a business at the moment. Oh, what's the business? Oh. Aunt Annie's. Oh, uh, wow. Oh, no. So this was like a life, this is like a, uh, affected your life. You went on to own a pretzel business. Wait, it's not, it's not at Auntie Anne's, it's an Aunt Annie's. Aunt so Annie's. It's, a, it's a side, bit. it's like a, you, yeah, couldn't get, you couldn't get the main one. There's, there's a lot of competition in the pretzel world. Hey, also, also Meredith, this. come on, you don't need to... She, she's the one who tried to destroy my life. Wow, I have to does be she nice does this her? in every part of your marriage, Rob? <laughs> no, no, no. I share my pretzels with my husband all the time. Uh, she would, yes, but I'm gluten free. Oh, right. right. Um, well, so really uh, Katie, is the business him, huh, Mayor? is the business going well? Business is a booming. You know, yeah. we have an actual policy that if you do offer to share with someone, you have to kind of stand by that. Oh, really? So yeah. if somebody comes in and doesn't share uh, a pretzel. Uh, what do you guys do? Uh, we actually stick them in a bucket of ice. Uh, it doesn't feel like it's legal. Mm, well, you know, you get away with a lot of things in Alaska, so. Oh, okay. oh, you're, in Alaska. oh you're in Alaska. Yes. The How'd weather, you end up in Alaska? <laughs> yeah, the weather is beautiful. Great. I'm I'm actually a pescatarian, so it's really great for my diet. It, so. Because of but ice skating? You went to Alaska because you were like, oh, ice skating, it's cold. Yeah, some, Alaska. some of us, Meredith, don't give up on our dreams because on the side, I'm still training for the Olympics. Okay, it's not my fault I couldn't come to every practice, okay? I had other commitments. Oh, what were your other commitments? I, also, I, false promising foods and snacks? Mm. Karate. Wow. Uh, so I could wow. fight you? Mm. Real self-defense technique there. So, Karate. Katie, you, you went to Alaska to continue trying to become an ice skater? Yes. Uh, I, I'm still in the process. Oh, you're still pursuing it? I'm still... What does that mean? At age well, 34, uh, you're still pursuing yeah, it? Yeah, I just... I, I would agree. It's kind of... It's kind of a young person's game. Wow, I can, I can see that a lot has happened for you guys that you're just shitting on people's dreams. No, what, we're, what you, we're just... Hey, how about let's turn the questions yeah. on you guys. What are you guys up to? I'm on this podcast. Uh, I'm giving up on my dreams and pursuing therapy. <laughs> oh, wow. Well, at least somebody in your relationship is getting their shit together. Oh, I'm on a podcast. That's not a job, Meredith. Some of us have to sell pretzels and hit the rinks every day to pursue the things we love. Hey, Katie, yeah. I don't mean to be rude, but I'm looking at a photo of you here and uh is this what you currently look like i don't like the way you're saying i'm that, just rob. saying i for somebody in the olympics i would expect somebody i don't i guess i'm overstepping yeah here, rob what are you saying i don't like I this don't, either yeah. I, it's, it, i'm sorry meredith i didn't know that you married a sexist pig. Yeah, it's misogynist. A, it's, robert i know that we're enemies but mm -hmm. this is a fellow woman of the world okay thank you uh, I always thought you were a girl's you know, girl, regardless of what you say <laughs> thanks, girl. about your pretzel sharing abilities. I just, I will say, I always have a soft spot. For Katie, how many girls. of those pretzels do you eat every day? 
Robert! Well, I'm just asking. Let me ask you a question there, Robert. Yeah. Was celiac a choice or something that you brought yourself to? Uh, pro- probably brought myself to. Well, okay. How are you doing with the celiac? Celiac a choice? All right, Katie, I'm back against you. <laughs> celiac is a disease people have. You can't just, it's not uh, a choice. Well, I'm losing connection. I'm in the woods. So <laughs> this was a great reunion. All right. Bye. Wow. Sorry about that, Meredith. That still was that was, a, that was the brutal. magic phone. Yeah, still, a, still a bitch. Still, um, <laughs> still got a lot of anger lot built of anger. up, a lot of resentment. I yeah, think. Brad, do you do you have any uh, misunderstandings? That you yeah, had? I didn't pack my snacks. My mom packed me healthy snacks. I didn't want to have whole wheat potato bread, mm. peanut butter sandwiches. I didn't want grapes, sugar free Jello. I didn't want the hundred calorie thin crisp Oreos. Yeah. That was not my choice. And everyone looked at me like I was the kid that wanted to have that in my lunch. Mm. I didn't. And yeah. I think that's misunderstanding. I have a bigger palate than that now. Yeah. Well, we do have your school bully calling in. Oh God. Yeah. I mean, I hope you, I hope you're cool. <sighs> I know. I know. Uh, uh, Fra- Franklin, is that you? Hey, it's me, Franklin. Smoke on my dick. <laughs> wow, Franklin. Wow. He still says the whole entire name. <laughs> he still says the whole. Fr- wait, yeah, you, you, wait. That's, that's Mister Smoke on my <laughs> dick to you. <laughs> wait, okay. Wait, Franklin. Your last name is Smoke on my dick. Yeah, it's Polish. Please don't don't make him repeat it. Uh, wow. This is really traumatizing. Yeah. yeah. The smoke on my dicks have a long line of eating shit food, and I do not appreciate mm-hmm. that mm-hmm. this guy always rubbed it in my face. Listen. I didn't rub it in your face, Franklin. You were always taking it out of my bag and looking for something to take from me. Yeah. Uh, yeah I don't know, because I was trying to get some uh, I don't, uh, 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 vitamins. Uh, I- iron, Franklin. iron vitamins, yeah. Franklin, sure. what are you up to now? Oh, uh, me? I uh, live in Alaska. Oh, wow. Wow. Do you, do you know uh, an ice ring? <laughs> ice, ice skater an ice ring? <laughs> still, still a freaking idiot. Do you, do you know a, 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 a woman who owns a pretzel stand and also oh, is ice skates? Ice skates? Uh, yeah. Wait a minute. Are you... <laughs> What Would you she- happen to be in a relationship <laughs> with someone who currently skates and sells pretzels? Whoa, whoa, whoa. We have not defined the situation oh, yet. Oh, wow. have I, have Let me I, ask you. It makes sense why she's yeah. so angry because how, she doesn't even know what she's in. How much does she weigh? Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> whoa, Jesus. I'm going into a uh, freaking feminist podcast. All right, I stand with women. I'm glad right. that you have grown up at least, but you still haven't yeah. gotten over the whole snack thing, you know? Well, the snack thing is important, and as is defending women. Your your progressive Franklin, thoughts are very are you, confusing. Are you I will a, say that. Are you a man of size? Would you call yourself a size king? Uh, yeah, I'm a bit of a size king. <laughs> but more like less because you like big sizes or the uh, latter? The, the Smokes on a Dick uh, family at, at large is pretty large mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. in charge. It's, I feel like this is something that Trump probably would say like at one I, point. Large and in charge. Well, I feel like I'd get along with the Franklin with the Smoke on My Dicks pretty well. Well, well you're my not dicks. invited over because we're a matriarchy, baby. Oh, All right? Oh, okay. We support the women in, who run our family. Okay, do you, fair me, enough. Do you, do you guys have any kids, you and uh, Pretzel Girl? Oh, yeah. How many? Uh, the Three. Three? Yeah. Did three you little also, folks on their dicks. Did, oh, Jesus. Do you also raise your kids to be this uh, aggressive about other people's food that you don't pack your kids? Yeah, of course. I don't want my kids to be pussies. Oh, okay. All right. Well, Franklin, thanks for calling thanks in. Thanks for calling All in. All right, bye. You, Love you. You make no sense as a character. <laughs> <laughs> I really feel like Franklin has grown in ways that don't make sense. Yeah, uh, well, this is no called binary, this so. is a uh, uh, called Guess the Wrestler. Uh oh, this is for Brad Stoll. Are you ready for this, Brad? Okay. So what? Don't show Meredith. Um, what you have in front of you right there is a list of people, places, and things. Okay. Uh, you're going to have to do wrestling promos for each one without mentioning what the actual thing is. And then <gasps> Meredith is going to have to guess what the thing is. So you're fighting each of these items and doing a wrestling promo. Okay. Them. So They're we'll not s- real. You, you're going to give me a number, I'm assuming? Well, yeah, we'll start with number one and, and go on down. And, you know, we won't. And, do I, and I'm doing the promo at that or yeah. I am the thing? No, you're doing the promo at that. Okay. Okay. And Meredith has to guess what it of is. What he's fighting. Okay. Yeah. Got it. All right. Let me tell you something here, you helium filled 
son of a bitch. I'm going to come at you this Sunday with all the air in my body. It doesn't matter if you're called Rojo in Spanish. It doesn't matter if you make a kid's day. I'm going to pop you in front of everybody. Just you wait. Me, you, Thunderdome. All right, all right, Meredith, what do you, what do you got? That's a red balloon, baby. That is correct. Red balloon. Yeah. All right. Bad. Just tell me which number you're going to do, Brad. You can choose because there's so many. Um, okay. <laughs> which one? <laughs> I'm going to do... Sorry, I wanted to make my way all the way down. I haven't mm. seen the full list. Oh, yeah. The silence really helps out the pod. Okay, so I'm going to do number 12. <laughs> number 12. All right. Ready? Number 12. Listen here, you Facebook son of a bitch. I'm coming at you this Sunday. I'm going to request you. I'm going to poke you. I'm going to take you to court for taking all the percents that I am deserved. You rat face NPC son of a bitch. I'll see you at the Thunderdome. Very nice, Meredith. Uh-oh. I can't think of the name of the guy uh, who runs uh, these. All someone, I can think of is Jesse Eisenberg. Uh, close, that. close. It's as close head. as it gets. Oh my god! Uh, oh, this is so embarrassing. I think I think you lose. Yeah, you lose. You got to remember, it's Mark Zuckerberg. Mark of course. Zuckerberg. I know. All right, give us another one, Brad. Okay, I'm gonna go with twenty six. Okay, great. Son of a bitch. You think you rule this planet with your eyes in front of your products? You think you could just tell me you're coming out with a new version? Well, let me tell you something. This Sunday at the Thunderdome, I'm going to fast charge you into your ass. Very nice. Very nice. All right, Thank Meredith. Who, who do you think it is? Steve Jobs. That's, That's correct. Right. Good one. Yes. All right. You want one more? Yeah, let's do one more. Uh, uh, yeah. Apple filled son of a bitch was good. Thank you. I thought um, it was pie. I it was pie. <laughs> okay, I got, I, I got uh, number 36. Okay, number 36. Got it. All right, give it a second. And you guys want a different voice? No. Whatever you no, want. Yeah, yeah, surprises. Okay, I'll surprise you guys. Wait. Listen here, you no talented flight plane son of a bitch you think you could just fly over places and go mysteriously missing i know you couldn't drive because you're a woman this sunday at the thunderdome i'm gonna make sure this plane crashes right in the middle of the ring Ooh, yeah. very good meredith that's amelia Earhart. that's brother. correct it is. yeah it is all I right love this game. This uh, is let's do one more don't do a person how about we okay. do a non-person a non-person yeah oh i got this one okay uh, number 15 okay here we go if there's one thing stone cold steve austin can't appreciate it's a goddamn bright light in his face i walk into these brunch restaurants if you want to see me walk into these brunch restaurants and kick down a couple of bright signs, give me a hell yeah. I've got mediocre signs in my life. That means nothing good coming out of that place. I'll see you at the Thunderdome. Stone Cold said so. That was a bad one. I didn't. I don't know where I was going with that. That was a terrible um, impression. Meredith? I'm going to guess a sandwich board? No. no. It's a neon sign. Oh, I almost all right, let's do. Let's do. Well, we're, how would you do? I'm sand- having a good time with this. Let's do some more. Okay, okay. Um, mm-hmm. I'll do another object. Yeah. Okay, number seven. All right, here we go. Listen here, you short son of a bitch. You think you could just stay on top of these lawns and look at me all funny? I know you're hiding secrets in there in your tall, pointy hats. This Sunday at the Thunderdome, I'm going to take you out of the ground and then place you inside of the ground again with your cone head at the Thunderdome. See you Sunday. Nice. Garden gnome. It's a garden gnome. A garden gnome, correct. Meredith. Congratulations. You both have won. Yay! 
What do we win? Teamwork. Teamwork. Um, let's figure out who our top five annoying dog owner types are. So uh, let's uh, let's list them out, and then we'll figure out which what order they go in. Uh, go ahead and start, Meredith. Give uh, us give people us that one. call themselves fur parents. Mm. Okay. Fur parents. fur parents. That's pretty bad. Like they call like they're their baby. Yeah, Ugh. fur babies. And, uh, like I may not have babies, babies. But okay. I have fur babies. Got it. Fur babies. Um. Any more? Uh, is that can I, Yeah. Okay. Just uh, the ones who own too many but have no idea how to deal with one. Mm. Got it. Too many dogs. Well, I have one immediately. Yeah. Uh, clearly, I have a lot of problems with people who own dogs. Um, people who are asking you for an unrelated favor, and then they send you a picture of their dog, and they're like, as payment. Oh, uh, wow. Like, they believe, like, they, they... The dog is the payment. They're like, like, they're like, hey, can you help me move on Sunday to, to thank you? I'll send you a picture of my cutie pie. What kind of fucking cheap-ass yeah, friends do you have? Is this, did you just make women. up this person? No, I, there's so many. This sounds like a well, very... This sounds like, a, one, it sounds like one person. No, you guys don't have to deal with these no, people? I'm no, I'm pretty sure. They're on the internet. I don't think it's on the internet. Uh, I think I got, it's one person. I got the other one. The people who get mad at you when you try to pet their dog that's clearly being friendly to you. Yes. They like yeah, gaslight yeah. you, be like, "Why yeah. would you pet my dog?" I'm yeah. like, "I don't know. Talk to your fucking smarmy ass dog that's getting me in trouble." Okay, yeah. nice. don't pet my dog. Sorry, your insane. dog is cuter than you. Yeah, Whoa. I yeah. don't want to pet you. Want to pet the yeah. dog? Why don't you, you, we pet people? We should. Well, yeah, I mean, maybe I, if we pet people more, people would be less aggressive and more happy to walk I, on this planet. I nice want to be told I'm a good boy. You are. All right. So right boy. now we do have four. We need no. one more. Um, obviously the people who don't pick up. Oh sure. yeah, yeah. That's, well, that that should be that should be number one. People don't pick up their dogs. And you think that they're like you reach a point where they would realize, but they do it all the time. Oh, oh, oh Meredith, they know. But I'm like yeah. standing behind. It's not even like they're doing it in private. They, no, they don't it's, it's care. Yeah. They they uh, here's the thing. It's like kind of like when you've taken care of the kid for too long, you haven't had a break. You're like, I don't give a shit if this kid's crying in public. You're all going to deal with this on this flight. And they like look away. Yeah, they're, they're like, like oh, oh, I'm not looking at it, so it's not happening. That's my favorite. Oh, a little oh, bit of, oh, time to go. Oh, yeah. There's something in the sky. So, I think so they're clouds. We have somebody who sends... I, I changed Meredith's because th that felt just like it was one Too person. Too specific. Uh, uh, but women, I, women I, right in. I think unrequested picks. Okay, yeah, unsol unsolicited, unsolicited dog, dog picks. Dog. Hey, look at my dog. Yeah, specifically like, okay. dog picks. Uh, hey, it could be worse. It could be a kid. Fur babies. I would go fur babies as number one. I I disagree. I think the dog the shit. The poopers. Dog the poopers are number one. All right, poopers so can we agree the fur babies would be number two? Yes. yes. Okay, fur babies are number two. Uh, too many dogs I would put as number three. Yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, and then unrequested dog picks Some versus don't that. pet my dog. I would say don't pet my dog. Dog is next. Yes. Yeah. yeah, because we're, would be we're talking about someone who's like not controlling the dog and making it clear right. that you shouldn't pet it. And it's not the worst thing if they yeah. send you a cute dog pic. Yeah. Yeah. It's kind of like, I just don't like. But I don't I don't appreciate being talked to like I wanted to pet your dog. Your dog wanted me but to pet you did. it. Yeah. You because did. you clearly neglect your dog and that's why it wants my affection. I don't affection. think the dog wanted but, you to pet it. Well, you I'm, never I'm know. with the dog owners. Okay. Mm. Yeah, well, whatever. I respect animals and they're right. Oh, uh, Meredith, we do have a phone call. No. Oh, shit. Uh, you're on the Rob Stern show. Go ahead. Uh, you calling for Meredith? That's right. I'm calling for Meredith. Uh, I, uh, I, I was told to call you because you're talking some shit about me, huh? I, I, you didn't like getting paid with a dog pick for helping me move? No, they were very cute it's dog It's a picks. very cute dog. Uh, it's been established I'm a girl's girl, and I support... Here, I'm sending you another pic. No, I, I'm really... I'm <laughs> no, look at that picture. No, I mean the dog... It's my asshole. Okay. Yeah. All right. It looks like your dog. Well, oh, okay. What kind now, of breed is it? Yeah, what is out. the breed? Truth comes out the type of the breed of the dog. The yes. breed of your asshole, it, ma'am. <laughs> <laughs> Arabian. <laughs> okay, good day. Bye. Good day. Good day. Good day. Good wow. day. <laughs> I say good polite. day to my butthole. <laughs> um, oh my god, that's so funny. <laughs> what What's something you want to get done that you're like procrastinating? Either of you? Oh, uh, putting my my new room together. Got it. Okay. I was going to say getting a job and getting my life together. <laughs> oh, wow. No, you're getting There's that there. too. I'm getting there. Do I'm getting job. there. Just in... All right. Here we I'm go. procrastinating getting yoked from climbing. Uh, go ahead, Brad, and give yourself a motivational speech to oh. get your room together. You think you could fix everything? 
You think you have all the answers? You do. You see that wallpaper? Yeah. You see that paint over there you could be picking up? Come on. Be the boy who paints the white picket fence. But that fence is your heart, your soul. It's the walls of your room that you've been neglecting. Mm. See that bed you haven't made? Looks depressing, huh? Well, guess what? Look in the mirror and you'll see a sheet that hasn't been folded. Figure out what that is. Reach to the core of that sheet. Mm. Pull it over. Find that fitted sheet that fits on your soul. You got this. And if you don't, well, you're gonna live in filth and smell like shit, so it's on you, buddy. <laughs> that was great. Thank you. Um, Meredith, why don't you give another motivational speech, but try and make it more real and truthful. About him getting yeah. in his bed Yeah, get, get Brad to really get his shit together. I'm right there. Hey, Brad. I know that up until this point, you still haven't figured out how to make your bed, but you're an adult now, buddy. Okay? You're not a boy painting a picket fence. You're a full grown adult man, and I know you make TikToks, but that's not an excuse to not figure out how to paint your walls. Mm. Okay? You want women to sleep with you? Yeah. You want so women to sleep with you? <laughs> all right, they, they, they know what they're signing up for, but they don't know all of this. Fix it. Fix it while you still have a chance. What about, Fix the, it. What about the TikToks, Meredith? Oh, what, what, what about those TikToks, okay? You're letting yourself get distracted. Getting distracted by all those trends. Here, here's a trend for you. Mm -hmm. Being an adult man. <laughs> Amen. Yeah. Being an adult man with a bed that's made and a uh, wallpaper with clashing colors to the paint that you chose, probably, because I can't imagine you have good taste. God damn. <laughs> How's that motivating? Uh, it's motivating because it's tough, love. You're you're soft. <laughs> That's just me. Toughen you up. <laughs> um, great. I thought, I thought you were going to ask me to say something mean to him, and I wasn't well, prepared. Well, I mean, I think you already did it. <laughs> yeah, like, uh, you yeah. didn't to, he didn't have to didn't ask bring you. Bring up the TikToks. Yeah, the clashing wallpaper. Um, it's just personal. Well, you said wallpaper and paint, and I was like, what is he doing? Brad, do you have one accent wall? Sorry. No, Brad, Do you, how do you... Uh, how do you stay open-minded and embrace new ideas and perspectives? Mm. Oh. <laughs> you know what? Sometimes, you just gotta let your ego go. Flush that ego down the toilet. Yeah, flush it down the toilet with all those negative thoughts. Uh-oh, looks like the toilet got clogged. <laughs> with all your negativity. Oh, uh, no. <laughs> and all the things you couldn't let go. Yeah. Well, what I say is you grab that plunger of positivity, mm. you shove it right down that hole, and you suction it out. You suction it out. You keep sucking and sucking and sucking, and finally, <sighs> goes right down the hole. And that, my friends, is all your goals and all the things you got to go in for your life. Going down that tube of inspiration. Man, oh man. Are we going to have some clean pipes? Because you got a clear path. Did I answer your question? I think I... What? I think I, <laughs> Do you remember the question? I don't. I don't remember the question at all. <laughs> I remember the question, and right, you did not say, answer the question. Right, Meredith, I just heard try. the music, and I just kind of went for it, you know? Let's have uh, Meredith go. This yeah. is uh, how you stay open-minded and embrace <laughs> new ideas and perspectives. If you're opening your mind by looking down a toilet with a plunger, then you're, you need to grow the fuck up, Brad. <laughs> okay, you have to think about new metaphors. Think about new experiences. Step out into that world. Put the plunger down. Don't flush away your dreams or whatever. Have new dreams. Have new experiences. Because... You never know what's waiting behind that next door. Hey, and bud. don't rebuttal me. Hey, bud. It seems like that angry yet positive sounding lady is interrupting again with her mean thoughts and feelings. Just don't listen to that. It's okay if you want to use toilet as a metaphor. You got into the fart joke business. This is about what to be expected. Try and say that hey, again. Hey, bud. Did you fart say fart joke? <laughs> I said fart joke. Fart joke? Fart joke business, hey, bud. Meredith. Hey, bud. Bud. Hey, bud. If you're listening to the voice in your head that can't pronounce things, God you're, damn. You're, you're a fucking idiot, buddy. Okay? So here's what's going down in Braintown. 
Mm. You have to release whatever energy is telling you that you're good enough. Yeah. Because you're not. <laughs> okay. Okay? You have to listen to me, giving you the tough love, and open your mind. Hey, bud, it's me again. I actually took a couple of <laughs> classes uh, to work on my enunciation, so I'm back to here to tell you that you got this, man. He's back to here. And don't listen to the... <laughs> He's back to here to if, tell If I've you. learned one thing, it's that people with curly hair have, are good for one thing, and it's for yelling at customer service lines, oh okay? Oh, my God. Look, that, is that open-minded? Think about it. Think about it. Think about what you want to think about, man, because that is your choice. It is your willpower to decide what you want to hear. Do you want to listen to me this or this loudmouth woman over here? Oh. I, I don't like the way he said woman in that. Do I you? don't like I, the way that she's talking to I, you. I appreciate that he said woman because I felt like he could have said something else. <laughs> All right. That was so funny, but so personal. Um... <laughs> You can come for me. I give you permission. Okay. Thank let's, you. Uh, thank, thank you for giving me permission. Hey, let's listen to intros from other podcasts. Oh. These yeah. are these are fun. Uh, I love this. Always fun. I like to listen to different podcasts. This is, oh, this is a, uh, this is called The Shitty Pizza Shop Owners with Tony and Val. Let's take a listen. Hey, welcome in. Oh, looks like you got dirty shoes. You know, we just mopped, yeah? <laughs> This is Shitty Pizza Talk with Tony and Val. I'm Val. I'm Sal. And here... <laughs> Tony's Tony, on vacation, Tony's on baby. vacation. And if you want a slice of our peace of mind, you just have to listen to this great podcast. And if you want a taste of this calzone, make sure you subscribe and leave us a review on iTunes. Don't be cheesy. Don't be pepperoni. And leave us some good things. Hey, Val, can we sidebar for a second? Yeah, what's up? I'm saying words that make sense as double on you're horse. saying things like pepperoni. I, I think the police uh, are on their way. Hey, oh. uh. Oh, oh hey! Hey. <laughs> hey, welcome to our podcast yeah. slash shop. Can, yeah, can I, I get you a slice? Well, look, I'm Detective Johnson. I'm here because uh, we found a, a, a Sal, uh, Mr. Sal in uh, the East River. Hey, uh, what? why don't you put up a pot of coffee for the officer here? I oh, you, that's what? so terrible to hear about yeah. Sal. You said you were Sal. Wait, who's Sal? <laughs> oh, Pony's got, the one that's missing, uh, the detective. Call. I've been the wrong place. Sorry <laughs> okay, about that. Right, yeah, yeah, these, thing, these things happen. Yeah, you know? Hey, hey okay. come back later, all right? We'll get you a slice, okay, on the all house. All right, I appreciate that was a, that it. Was a close that was a close one. one. Okay. Well, let's stop that podcast. Oh, I like that. This is called Why You Should Move to New York City, the podcast. Let's take a listen to that. Why You Should Move to New York City. Hey, what's up? I'm Daryl. I'm originally from Wisconsin. Hey, I'm Charlene, and I'm originally from somewhere in California. And we're New Yorkers. And here's a bunch of reasons why you need to move to New York right away. I mean, the pizza. And the bagels. What? I mean, is there any other reason? Also, all of these cheap apartments in Brownsville that we get to live in. Yay. Isn't that insane? Yeah. Wow. Uh, also, you're far from your family and the sun. Oh, my God. And people are like, I'm walking here. And it's like, hello, <laughs> I'm at Whole Foods. <laughs> Do you like, mind? Hey, I'm driving a car, but I have nowhere to park it. So I'm having a nervous breakdown here. And hey, <laughs> it doesn't matter if they upped your hours at your sales job and say you're not pulling your weight and that you think about maybe you should just move back home and everyone else won't think you're a failure for saying, hey, fuck this town. Yeah. I'm better than all of you. I was prom king. <laughs> Well, at least you saw Jimmy Fallon on the street. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm going to I'm in a UCB class. Well, that, everybody knew that. <laughs> well, that was pretty obvious. Yeah, so I was right, definitely yeah. in a UCB class. Yeah. yeah. That podcast sounds very informative. Yeah. yeah. Um, I a guest on that podcast. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is uh, a call. shoot that at Pioneers. <laughs> when you're getting your hair cut. <laughs> While eating pizza. <laughs> This is a call-in show with two rude dudes who are also doctors. That's interesting. I'm excited mm. to hear what they have to say. Two rude dudes who are also doctors. <laughs> Hello. What's up? We're two rude dudes who are also doctors. Yeah. Scalpel, please. Here you go, doctor. I would like a brain saw. Mm. Well, why don't you figure out where to find it? 
It's probably up your ass, you dirty scoundrel. Yeah. Anyway, I heard there's a caller on the line. That's right. We got a caller on the line. Caller, what, caller, what do you want? Caller, hey, can uh, you speak, you dumb idiot? Okay, yeah, that's what I'd expect from you guys. Hey, I, I'm, I'm just wondering, um, are you guys actually performing surgery while recording this podcast? Yeah, really? we're performing surgery. What kind of surgery? Heart I, surgery. I, I, you're doing heart surgery while yeah. you're recording? Because I'm also a surgeon. I, I'm pretty sure you're Oh, look at me. Head. I'm a surgeon. Oh. I can make phone calls when I'm not performing heart surgery. Well, cool, yeah, dude. I mean, where did you go? Yeah, not, not very is, busy. Not very busy as a surgeon. You have all this time to call into podcasts of real hard work. Well, actually, surgeries. I don't have a lot of time, but I'm very concerned for your patients. So I feel, felt like I needed to get to the bottom of this. I, I bet you went to a city college. <laughs> I'm losing patience with this terrible caller. <laughs> also, is, is one of you from like the 1940s? You have like a weird... You? The woman. Whatever her name is. I'm a dude. You're a dude? <laughs> yes, I, I'm just a fancy dude who went to, a, a, to Harvard. This is it. There's a lot to unpack here. I mean, my main concern is that you're mistreating patients and you're not taking the best care well, with Well, at least we're very honest. We're two rude dudes. dudes. <laughs> yes. I, part of me thinks you are very honest. My family's yeah. from old money, and that's why I sound like this. I, I've met many people with old money who don't sound like that. Most people still talk like the modern age. Something's fishy here. And I'll uh, get I, 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 know, I didn't know it was two rude dudes and one cunt of a collar. Oh. <sighs> <laughs> a scalpel? Here you go. Well. Uh, uh, she's bleeding out. Yeah. Oh, oh, Jesus. Too bad. I guess we'll have to deal with that lawsuit at some point. <laughs> How many lawsuits do you guys have? Uh, all right. I think enough from this caller. Um. Beep. Boop. Beep. Oh, that was a really sad. Oh, no, we do have another caller. Oh, another, uh, another, okay. another caller. Oh, yay. Hello there, caller. Hello, daughter. Oh, oh. hello, father. Oh, here Come back home, won't you? We miss you so. Oh, no. What's going on on the ghost fields without Your mother's me? not doing too well. She fainted on the fainting couch. Oh, no, not the fainting couch. It's like a regular couch, but smaller. And your horse. Your horse misses you. No, you have a horse in the city? Of course I have a horse. What, what do I look like? A poor? I don't know. You sound more British by the second. And no one believes you're a rude dude. The drunker I get, the more British I sound. The more you sound like a 12-year-old boy. Oh, well, look. Father, She I, is a 12-year-old boy. I went to this college. This is like a Hauser situation? <laughs> yes, I'm a child genius. Yes. Don't you know? I just pasted this beard on so you'd respect me. Look, I Anyways, went to Anyways, now school. that we got to the bottom of that, <laughs> come home. No, father, I went to doctor school mm. to be a doctor, and now I want to pursue this forever. So this is what rich uh, people we're do. We're just keeping this bit going. <laughs> <laughs> You're in charge of when the bit ends, you I fuck. I was trying to end it. Goodbye. <laughs> that podcast is really bad. Uh, yeah. That was not a good one. It was no. long. Really too, too yeah, long. We listened way to too long. The other one not was even better. One, not even one sponsor. No. Yeah. <laughs> um, I liked it. I liked the child's beard. That was my favorite. Yeah, for sure. All right, this is a uh, this is a game called Bless Your Heart. Uh -oh. um, I'm gonna list mean things, and you have to repeat them in a polite and southern manner. Do you know what I'm saying, Brad? Yes. Got it. Do you wanna go first, Brad? Yeah, I'll go first. Okay. I know I hate this game. <laughs> you hate it? I I definitely had a mental breakdown uh -oh. in this game. No. I can I think I remember it. You don't listen. Oh, well, you just have the kindest ears. <laughs> okay. Okay. Meredith, do you want to try? Sure. You don't listen. If you opened your ears more, God would have more to tell you. Very good. Meredith gets the point. All right, Brad. Oh boy, Brad's getting upset. <clears throat> your car is filthy. Well... Got some plan for every <laughs> car map. <laughs> I got that. <laughs> Mer wow. Meredith, your car is filthy. I drew a beautiful picture today on the hood of your car. Very nice. All right, Brad. I'm glad your wife left you. Well, sometimes 
Life just leaves a door open for everybody. Also, I'm fucking your wife. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Meredith, I'm glad your wife left you. Your wife was so beautiful. And it's lucky she gets to fly free now. Hmm. All right. I'm going to give it to Brad. Oh, yeah, I think Brad, yeah. Brad definitely won that. Okay, All right. Meredith, we'll start with you. You're a weak man. I bet if I were to take you to a county fair, you wouldn't fetch me much. Not bad. Not bad, Brad. You're a weak man. Well, it looks like I'm going to have to cut down that cherry tree myself. Hmm. hmm. So you're George Washington's dad? <laughs> <laughs> that, is that the subtext? Right, I'm going to give it to Meredith there. That's a good one. All right, Brad, you're selfish. You just know how to make a light brighter than everybody in this room. All right, Mara, that's that's a hard one to be. You're selfish. If you were a stick of gold, you'd attract more gold. Oh, no, Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. That was- that was rough. Is that good? No, that was that not was good. Bad. That, oh. was really <laughs> bad. that was really bad. That was like the boy's voice. <laughs> you guys reacted. I was like, maybe, maybe I'm a genius. Maybe I'm a genius. Oh, maybe no. I'm really good at this. No, no, no. no. Um, no. All right, Meredith, you get to go first. Okay. You're always going to be poor. Well, you might not have a horse, but the upside is you never will. Mm. All right, Brad. You're always going to be poor. Look, we all got empty pockets, but you don't have an empty heart. That's great. Wow. Brad's starting Brad, to Brad's picking up. Brad with the comebacks. All right. Meredith, I hope your family dies in a fire. If you were a brick of gold, all y'all would be melted gold. Mm. Oh, God. Did you try to make the brick gold work again? Yeah, you really... <laughs> Double down on brick of gold. I, I, I know there's something there. It's got legs. All right, Brad. I hope your family dies in a fire. I hope your family has the finest vacation in our Hell's Gates. <laughs> Hell's Gates. <laughs> all right, I'll give it to Brad. I yeah, like Brad that. wins. Uh, all right, Brad, you first. Okay. You show up here again, I'm going to put you down. I do say this place will have a better home once you're not in it. Nice. I got it. All right, Meredith, go. Why, I love the movie Old Yeller. And if you come around here again, we'll reenact it. I'm going to give it to Meredith. I actually like that. That was very good. Come on. Um, Putting down, yeah. I'm a a brick of gold, baby. (laughs) Don't even, don't even try to make that work. (laughs) All right. Meredith, you go first. Mm. Roses are red, violets are blue. I'd sand off my face if I was you. Um, make that a poem. Okay. Um, roses are red, violets are blue. <laughs> Where'd your face go, buddy? <laughs> okay. All right, Br- Brad. Roses are red, violets are blue. I'd sand off my face if I was you. Why? It looks like those sunflowers made your face burn off. <laughs> <laughs> it's a tie. Right. Yeah. All right. Brad. Okay. You got small balls and a small mind. Look, you may not have it all, darling, but I will tell you, you got a heart of gold. Nice. Nice. (laughs) That's how you make gold work. That's good. (laughs) All right, Meredith. You got small balls and a small mind. You may have lost your marbles, but I found them under your penis. (laughs) Oh, okay. Because they're, they're marble sound. Yeah, no, we, we got it. We okay, got it. all right. Jokes all right. are funny I'm when you explain get it. it. Get to make that another all tie. Right, I, I revoked right. a tie? Yeah, the, the last one. <laughs> the last one. Brad, I've seen fish with prettier feet. Wow. Why, you may have the prettiest face I've ever seen, but your feet do look like the bottom of my grandma's <laughs> mouth. <laughs> What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? All right, Meredith. Okay. I've seen it's, fish with prettier feet. 
If I had to swim upstream with you mm. and look at those feet, I'd change sexes too. It's a science reference to salmon. salmon. Oh, holy fuck. So Jesus. I'm the only educated what person on the podcast. Yeah. We're talking Jesus about Southern Christ. people. Oh my God. Oh my God. Brad wins. Hey! Whoa, we did not add that up. That is a lot. <laughs> um, Robin Aguilar, our, our celebration song. What's something an audience member did or said that you remember? Oh, man. Um, oh, I once performed at a synagogue uh, for a uh, for an, uh, the sisterhood. It was all women. Mm-hmm. They were all over the age of fucking like 80. Yeah. And I remember I, I used to close on this joke about, um you know, like, how do you want your hand job? Yeah. And I remember this woman came up to me and she's just like, I just want to say that hard on joke you told it was disgusting. And I have a daughter your age. And I couldn't say anything back because the woman running the event was driving me home. So I had to just oh sit there God. and take it. <laughs> And let this, and I literally just took a bite of my free ice cream I got, and just said, "Had a good, na- have a good night, please." It's <laughs> like a good gig. You have free it ice does cream. Sound like free a ice good cream gig. I got paid, right and, I, and I bombed for thirty minutes in front of a bunch of old <laughs> Jewish women. Um, it is weird, but Brad, I do have the recording from that. Oh god! Yeah, let's take a listen to it. Um, here's Brad Stoll at the synagogue. Oh, hello. Uh, hi, uh, did you enjoy the show? No, I did oh, okay. not. In fact, I had Oh, wait, to- let me rewind. I want to mm-hmm. I want to rewind to where the show was happening. That makes more sense. Yes. Yeah. Uh, so um, I'm not on the dating apps. <clears throat> I'm not I'm not on the dating apps. Jesus, feels like my bar mitzvah in here. <laughs> I'm not I'm not on the dating apps, but uh Who is this guy? Again? The last <laughs> last time I did this girl I think things were getting hot and heavy brother? and then she invited me up to her place oh, Moisha. and she started to take my pants off oh, enough oh. people are grab, grab me this. by the manhood and said how do you want your hand job oh my god oh my god this is a temple this is a temple it's a temple so I- then i said i don't know oh, he's still going I don't know. Blown? Is that what he Thank just you. said? Thank you. My name is Brad Stoll. What did you just say, honey? I That's, couldn't hear you. That, it's Brad Stoll. Have a great night, Wait, was ladies. Was it blown? Did you say blown? <laughs> hey, Mr. Stoll. Uh, hi. Hi. I have a daughter your age, and I was very upset to hear you say that. It's pretty am, disgusting stuff. Yeah. Um, I hope you have a, a great, great night. Uh, thank you. I guess that's at least you're polite. Work on your act. Uh huh. You know, I know a few things about comedy. Yep. Yeah. I, I bet you do. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I dated uh, Shecky Green. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow! My grandpa loved him. <laughs> yeah. He's a classic. Hey, you want to talk about a hard on? That man was packing. <laughs> you should be on stage, Marlene. Hey, that's good. <laughs> Thank you. You're like a regular Mrs. Maisel. Oh, God. You're really adding to this conversation. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, I'm going to go find my ride. Uh, thank you, ladies. Hope you have a great, fantastic night and many years of- upon you. Oh, can you uh, sign my tits? Oh, uh, I'd rather not. They're, they're right there. Oh, please, please don't. On the floor. Oh, God. I thought that was... <laughs> I thought that was someone's walker I stepped on. <laughs> well, that Marlene was... was a real bitch. <laughs> <laughs> it was very traumatic for me to relive. Good. I really didn't know how you got that recording, and I hope you destroy it. Uh, Sure, I'll get rid of it, but... um. <laughs> I subscribe to your uh, newsletter, so that's how I have it. Ah, uh, yes, yeah. of course. I forgot so that. Pay, I let your, everyone hear that. Yeah. I pay Sometimes $7 I let, a month. I get let people in on my private gigs with my yeah. Patreon. Your private gigs? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, any private gigs he does, you get to hear recordings <laughs> of it. Oh, Meredith, what about you, an audience member? Um, uh, uh, I remember an improv audience member that someone got in a fight with. It mm-hmm. was a good time. We were doing a... Uh, the dream and someone had to sit, tell us their dream 
and an audience member was telling their dream and a different audience member got mad and was like, don't tell your dream about like how you turn into a fish. Tell him the real dreams you have. Like when you fuck your mother. Oh, really? Jesus Christ. Wow. Well, let's listen to that one, which is a crazy recording too. What part of the recording are we going to? Uh, the part where she asked for the uh, initiation. Hey guys, we're Big Trouble, uh, and we just need um, a dream that you've had. Oh, I got one. Uh, so uh, one time I had this dream where I was a fish, but not just a fish. I was a, a Swedish fish, like the candy. Ooh. Hey, and I was tell her the real dream where you said all that racist stuff. Hey, fuck you, buddy. How about that? You got you like interrupting people in the middle of a fucking show where I'm, I'm trying to answer just, her fucking question. I'm just trying to get you to live your true self. Oh, I didn't know why my therapist was in the crowd, you fucking no good son of a bitch. Okay, thank you for the suggestion. I and wasn't now- done with my dream. <laughs> Anyways, I was a Swedish fish in a no, we, we, we got it, buddy. All right, Swedish Fish, thank you so much. All right, I'll, uh, let's start. How is this show $5? Five dollars for this? Sir? Five dollars. Please, let us do our Swedish fish scene. Wow, I love this aquarium. Yeah, you know what? That one fish, though, looks kind of fake. It... That's not how my dream went. We're not doing you. We're no, inspired by your dream. dream. You asked me what my dream was. I thought you were going to reenact it. You can't reenact something you know nothing about. This is why I said you should have told your real dream. Shut up. Okay, so anyways, that fish looks kind of fake to me, doesn't it? Yeah, I I think it's racist. Ugh. No, no, that's not how my how no. I was in my dream. I, also, I wasn't a racist I don't fish. Go, I don't want to go I there. was a red Swedish <laughs> fish <laughs> in an ocean, <laughs> but it wasn't in an ocean. Yeah. It was made out of fun. All right, fun you dip. know what? Why don't you come up here and do some improv? You know what? Maybe I will All do right, some improv. I'll take a seat. I've taken one class. It was a drop-in class. Hey, can I can I get a word of inspiration? Swedish uh, fish. Fuck you who said that. <laughs> I want a real word of inspiration, something that inspires me, that doesn't trigger me, because I have a lot to work out in therapy. Another word of inspiration. Uh... Uh... Speak up or don't say anything. <laughs> okay, I won't say anything. I need a word. <laughs> God let's, damn it. Let's fast forward this. Oh, I'm okay. just going to fast forward. <laughs> I said I wanted a fucking word. Oh, it's still good. All right. We're going to pause it. Wow. That really got rough. Yeah. Maybe. That's exactly yeah. how it happened. I literally, I'm traumatized. Yeah. Um, this whole thing. Is you're just, traumatized. That was my, was I know. My I just felt, I got secondhand trauma. From oh, that. okay. Let's, uh, let's do this. Why don't we do the acting challenge? Oh, oh this. this is a monologue from, uh, um, uh, Ellie confidential <gasps> oh, wow. said by, uh, the character Bud White, played by Russell Crowe, and uh, HBO. Pass one to Meredith. Thank you. All right. Uh, is a monologue from Ellie Confidential, and the first round is whoever does it the best. And it's as us or as Russell Crowe? It's just your best performance. So, uh, Brad, why don't we let oh. you go first? Oh, I was going to say ladies yeah. first. I know it. That prick Exley shot the wrong guys. Whoever killed my partner is still out there. I, if I could work cases like a real detective, I could prove it, but I'm not smart enough. I'm just the guy they bring in to scare the other guy shitless. Nice. Wow. All right, Brad. That prick actually shot the wrong guys. Whoever killed my partner is still out there. I... If I could work cases like a real detective, I could prove it. But I'm not smart enough. I'm just the guy they brought in to bring in the scare the other guys shitless. Nice. <laughs> I think I'm gonna give it to Brad. Thank well, you. I like Thank the, you so much. I like the, the character work and the cigarette. Like um, the all right, Brad, you go first this time. You have to do it with a Canadian accent. I know it. 
That prick actually shot the wrong guys. Whoever killed my partner is still out there. If, if I could work cases like a real detective, I could prove it. I'm not smart enough. I'm just a guy who brings in the scare to the other guy shitless. Very good. Meredith, really you fun. have to do a, a French accent. Wait, what? <laughs> okay. I know it. Wow. That prick actually shot the wrong guys. Whoever killed my partner is still out there. I... If I could work cases like a real detective, I could prove it. But I'm not smart enough. I'm just the guy they bring in to scare the other guy shitless. That was really good. Thank you. I actually think both of those were really good. I'm, gonna, very get, I'm gonna give you a tie. Wow. Oh, no. All right. I thought you moving on to, You nailed it. You're very Canadian. Oh, moving you. on to the next uh, round. Um, you each have to try doing it as a lady who is trying to steal a uh, hot pie off of a windowsill. So uh, give it your best shot. Take a beat. Uh, Meredith, you go first. I know it. <laughs> Nothing to see here. That that brick actually shot the wrong guys. Mm. Whoever killed my partner is still out there. I, if I could work cases like a real detective, I could prove it. But I'm not smart enough. <laughs> I'm just the guy they bring in to scare the other guys shitless. You know me. No pie. Very good. I like that a lot. Did you? I like the sound effects you gave. Was that you sliding a window open? It was. Oh, very good. All right. All right, Brad. I know it. <sighs> that bitch needs to walk away. That prick actually <laughs> shot the wrong guys. Whoever killed my partner is still out there. Yeah. And that poison berry. I, if I could work cases like a real detective, I could prove it. Oh my God, it's so loud. Oh God, it's so loud. But I'm not smart enough. Just the guy that brings in the... Oh God, she's turning around. Oh God. They bring him to scare the other guys shitless. Hey, pie's mine. <laughs> hey, pie's mine. Um, oof. That was a tough one. I'm going to give it to Meredith for subtlety. Yes. But Fair. you were both very good. That was, that was very yes. impressive. I All right. get it. Uh, Brad, you're going first. This is the last round. Okay. Um, oh, wait. It's not the last round. Uh, but it's uh, second to last round. We're doing... Now you have to do it as a TikTok influencer. So let me give you the right music for that. TikTok influencer. Uh, same monologue, different style. TikTok influencer. <laughs> Oh my God, you guys, I know it. That prick actually shot the wrong guys. Whoever killed my partner is still out there. I, if I could like work cases like a real detective, I could prove it. But don't scroll, stop scrolling. But if I'm not smart enough, I'm just the guy they bring in to scare the other guy shitless. Like for part two. Nice, nice. All right, Meredith. It's your boys. Mm. Oh, no, it. That prick actually shot the wrong guys. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoever killed my partner is still out there, boy. Oh, if I could work cases like a real detective, mm. I could prove it. But I'm not smart enough. I'm just the guy they bring in to scare the other guy. Shitless. Is this like 2010s like yeah, YouTube? I've like, never seen a TikTok. But <laughs> You've never seen a TikTok? Oh, God. Man, Dear God, that's a lie. Right, so Brad gets that one. <laughs> Wait, stop. Uh, this is the last one. You guys have to do it. Uh, you have to uh, do the opposite of every word. Okay. Okay. Hold on a second. Um, and I'm assuming you want it dramatic. Yeah. Go ahead, Brad. I know nothing. <sighs> that great guy, Exley, saved the right guys. Whoever saved my partner is gone. I, if I could just work cases like a fake detective. Okay, now Meredith, take over. You did solve that. And you're very dumb, 
though you're but and a woman who sent out and was scared and also woman clean butt nice do you ever you ever remember when your English teacher being like, who would like to read out loud in class? <laughs> yeah, that's what it felt that's like. That's what it felt like. Yeah. Yeah. were we supposed to do that? Did uh, I do no, that? No, uh, Meredith wins. Uh, Brad, oh, because you did, you did the most fucking yeah, words? you did the most you opposites. You did like three of the words. Yeah, you, you, you did a good reading, but you didn't do the opposite of her words. Um, What's more important, audience? A good reading? Like and subscribe below. Like and subscribe, let like, us know. Like and subscribe, let us know. Um, leave, a, leave a review Is there on anything uh, bothering either of you? Or annoying you this week? Oh, I didn't like in that temple scene yeah. where you rejected uh, my, uh, me being a part of it. Yeah, no, I, I, I mean, felt, I didn't I, reject I, it. I felt like that was a personal attack. It felt on. very personal. I, I thought I, I, I thought. Well, it annoyed me. You asked what annoyed me, <laughs> and I'm answering what I, you. Don't, you don't get to defend yourself. Oh, I know, okay, I know exactly fair. what's about to happen. No, I'm just. We're gonna make out. No, no, no. no. <laughs> We're probably gonna sing about it. I think. Oh, you might sing about it. What about you, Brad? What annoyed me this week? Hmm. Mm. Probably having to uh, th- um, ordering a coffee at this coffee place that it's like a newer spot in Studio City. Yes. And as I was waiting for it, they go, "Oh, we're at a dark roast." I was like, "Okay, no problem." He's like, "You want medium roast?" I go, "Yeah." And he oh goes, my God, "That's going to be another five minutes." And I go, "Fine, I guess." Sit down. There's a cockroach upside down, uh. praying for his life, and I go, "No way, I'm waiting for it." They couldn't figure out how to give me a refund, so I just walked out, then spent another $5 at a coffee shop down the block. Oh, my God. So I spent $10 on coffee, only got one of those coffees. So let's put put them on blast, and uh, we'll have you listen to the song that is. You got it. Just wanted my coffee, wanted my coffee, cockroach leaks, cockroach leech. You can't figure out how to give my money. God, I just want my coffee, not a cockroach. Give me my brew. I don't want no fucking cockroach. Just want my coffee. Just want my coffee. Coffee not a cockroach, coffee not a cockroach Give me my brew, give me my brew Coffee not a cockroach, coffee not a cockroach Give me my brew, give me my brew well, they also wrote a song about you. Oh, of God. Of course, you knew that was coming, right? I knew it. They were going to yeah. clap back that yeah, fast. This they're is real like, fast. This is like they? Drake and Kendrick all over again. Yeah, yeah. You came in and asked for a coffee. You wouldn't even wait for it. I had to brew another pot. You couldn't wait just five minutes. What's wrong with you? Baby, what's wrong with you? You gotta stick up your butt cause you can't get your coffee fast There was no cockroach in my establishment You can suck it, there was no cockroach Boop boop da 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 Beyond disrespectful. Yeah, very, there's only to suck it at one point Yeah, that's pretty messed up. And you there was what? a cockroach. Where can we uh, find you guys online? You can find me on TikTok. Instagram, it's Brad Stoll. Brad Stoll on YouTube. Um, I do comedy. I do food reviews. All that jazz. Yeah. You can follow me on Instagram, Meredith Hackman Comedy, or Twitter, big underscore Mary. Yeah, I got that underscore in there because oh, I'm gosh. cool as hell, baby. Very cool. Um, mm-hmm. I have a sub stack you can follow or mm. watch us uh, stream Blood on the Clock Tower once a week with News on oh, the yeah, News Tower. Oh, yeah, we play a board game. Yeah. It's really fun, fun. We're really good at it. Uh, but for now, of course, uh, this has been the Robster Show. Robster Show. Robster Show. Everybody's dancing. Everybody's angry. The Robster Show. The Robster Show. The Robster Show. The Robster Show. His name is Stern, but he is nice. His name is Rob, but he doesn't steal. What is this, a web of lies? 
the show is a web of lies.